welcome back to my channel today i am doing a video all about family activities and couple activities that you can do in the spring and summer i know a lot of you guys are new moms and in that season of life it can be really difficult to plan for quality time with your family and with your husband if you feel like you're in a rut with figuring out what to do and how to bond this is the video for you and i hope it's helpful and i'll jump right into it so i'm going to start with the family activities and Surprise to no one, the first one is walks. You guys know because it's always in the vlogs that we take a family walk almost every day. It is really good for us, A, to get some exercise and to get out of the house and get some fresh air because I think especially nowadays when a lot of us are still kind of staying home and hunkering down, it can be really easy to be like, oh, I haven't left the house in three days. So making sure you get some outside time every day and 30 minutes of aerobic exercise is really, really good for your mind, for your body, but also for your relationship. This is when Matt and I have our like powwows. We talk about the house and our projects. We talk about our days. We talk about work things. I jokingly sometimes call these walks my business meeting because they'll help me talk through ideas for content and help me work through any problems that I'm having. I am an external processor, which means that I like to talk things through. Um, so being on these walks is a really great way to do that and to connect without the pressure of like just sitting face to face and being like, oh, what do you want to do? Well, I want to talk. What do you want to talk about? It's nice to be like actively doing something and just chatting as you stroll along. It's also really great for Rowan because every time we go for a walk, he is seeing new things in the world, new animals, people, smells even. It's also just a really good way to get him to like calm down and settle if he's being fussy. Another thing that we do outdoors together as a family is bubbles. <laughs> we'll go out onto the lawn and put Rowan's play mat down and just blow bubbles with him. And he's so fascinated and it always gets Matt and I laughing because he'll like try to grab them and get surprised when they pop and it's just really cute. It's a great way to spend like a half an hour on a nice warm day. The next one that we've only started doing recently is going to the park. Um, going to the park with a small baby is tricky because he's obviously not walking. He's not going to be like climbing the jungle gym or anything. And what I'd recommend doing to find a park that has things that your baby can actually interact with is look up all of your local parks and then look at the Google review photos and also do Google Street one of the things that we look for is like the um the bucket seats for babies because a lot of parks around here don't have them so we can't take him on those swings so we'll look for that we'll look for like ride on things that are like you know rock him back and forth or go around in the circle and it's a bonus if we can walk to one because we kind of do two of the activities at once Another thing that we've started now that warmer weather is coming around is water play. And I did this in one of my recent vlogs, so I'll put it up here if you haven't yet seen that one so you can check out what I mean. But basically you take plastic tubs and you fill them with water and some plastic toys, some that float, some that sink, um, and you go out on the grass and your baby can play with the stuff in the water and they splash and half the time Matt and I end up splashing each other and it's super fun. Another thing that we have done a couple of times actually as a family is going to pick fruit. Um, around us we picked apples in the fall and right now there are blueberries so we can pick blueberries the blueberries are especially fun because if the owners um, allow it you can kind of taste along the way and blueberries are something that he can have so it's really fun because he gets really excited because they're sweet and delicious and he can like pick them himself if you have a local one a splash pad is also a really great way to spend time as a family and also to keep cool in the summer months you can take your kiddo in their swimsuit and there are different kinds of water activities activities that they can do but it's not like a pool so if you're nervous about drowning or anything this is a good option because it's just like water that falls on the floor basically I don't really know how to describe it but if you know what I mean you know what I mean and if not you should google it because it's fun and the last family activity that I wanted to talk about was going to the lake if you have a lake near you awesome if you have a beach even better in my opinion. I'm totally a beach person, I miss California. Um, but you can just go and lay out by the lake. Um, our family usually gets together and plays, um, what's the cornhole? cornhole and barbecue outside and they get to play with Rowan and we get you know a break sometimes so we can even just hang out with each other so then moving on to the couple activities I think it's just as important to spend quality time one-on-one -on -one with your spouse so if you have the opportunity to take your baby over to the grandparents house or to hire a babysitter that you feel safe and comfortable with these are some really great activities that you guys can do together first one is pickleball and I know that I am late to the party with this one everybody was playing pickleball like at the start of the pandemic Pandemic, and we have just started very recently but guys it is so fun something about it just takes 
all of the pressure off of the conversation. Not that Matt and I ever have a hard time talking to each other, but sometimes I feel like we get into a space where it's like we've been together all day, so it's not like we have anything left to talk about about the day, and it can be like, well, what do you want to talk about? I don't know, what do you want to talk about? Pickleball makes the conversation really easy because you have something that you're like actively doing together. It's not a prohibitively difficult sport. It doesn't actually require like a lot of movement. Like we're not getting out of breath and sweaty when we're playing. Sometimes we'll run across the court for a ball, of course, but mostly it's not too strenuous. Another couple activities that I highly recommend is doing a house projects together. Even if you don't have a house and you want to do apartment projects or you want to build furniture together, something like that. Um, in the spring and summer it's really fun to do outside ones so maybe you want to make like some concrete string light contraptions or you want to plant a garden actually planting a garden is my next one so I guess that's a perfect segue this is something that I've always been interested in that Matt didn't think he would be interested in and then he was helping me water the plants in the morning and he was like wow this is really relaxing this is really nice and once we got all the grass put in our yard it just got even more fun and relaxing to be out there so we have been working on the garden together we have vegetables and fruit planted we have so much i think bell peppers uh watermelon pumpkin strawberries several different kinds of herbs zucchini tomatoes cucumber spaghetti squash i know i'm missing some but we planted a lot of stuff in a very small space so it won't be like a ton of crops or anything but still fun to get to do something together and we also just started a cut flower garden so i'm really excited to take that journey together and you can totally do this like in pots on your patio if you want to do a container garden because you're tight on space and the next thing that's one of our date night staples is cooking together we love cooking a meal together it's even better if we can cook with something that we grew in our gardening efforts um, but any way that we can like cook or bake together is such a nice evening i highly recommend a glass of wine and some jazz music while you're cooking it just like really levels up the experience maybe light a candle and pretend you're like chefs in a fancy restaurant i don't know cooking is something that we both came into our marriage already liking and we've gotten better at it together which has been really fun and food is delicious so <laughs> Another thing that you can try if you would prefer to remain inside because it's too hot is puzzles. Matt and I have done a couple thousand piece puzzles and our tradition is to put on a Disney movie, like an old animated Disney movie, and work on a puzzle. And it takes us a pretty long time to get through them, working in the evenings after Rowan goes to bed. And again, it's a really great way to take pressure off of conversation and be doing something collaborative, but also be chatting and not concentrating too hard. It's always nice to work towards a common goal and a puzzle is a really fun way to do that. Then the last way that I recommend spending quality time together every single day is picking a like check-in time for us it's in the morning over coffee we always have our coffee together every morning and we talk about our day um, what we have going on ahead and kind of get our schedules in sync and also just you know chat and connect and then at night we also always do this thing where we each tell each other three things that we're grateful for that day so those are things that aren't like big overarching like my health or my family, because of course we're grateful for those things. But what we're trying to do is to see the beauty in the mundane, like the everyday stuff. And so it might be like, I am grateful for that latte that I got this afternoon that was so good and exactly what I needed. And I'm grateful that that thing that I really wanted came back in stock and I was able to snag it before it went out of stock again. Just little things like that. Um, and it's a good way to celebrate our little wins together. Another take on this that we've also done at times and is something my family did growing up is the high, low and way to Go. Uh, so you say your high point for the day, like your favorite thing that happened that day, your low point for the day, something that wasn't so great, and your way to go, which is something that you're proud of yourself for. I think it's equally important to celebrate your wins and to celebrate the other person and be proud of them. That's going to be it for all of the spring and summer family activities and couple activities that I have to recommend to you guys. If you guys want me to do this kind of video again for fall and winter, please let me know because here in Seattle, all of these outdoor activities are not doable in the season, so we have a whole different set of things that we do together as a family. Thank you guys so much for watching. I would love if you do any of these activities, if you would tag me on Instagram, I'll put my Instagram right here so I can see your cute little families being adorable. I love you a lot and I'll see you all in the next video.